So let me just run through them briefly again. Number one, whenever God calls a fast, we fast. Number two, when we come to understanding and realization of the sinfulness of our own sins, of our own lives, and of the lives of others, others we fast. Number three, when we want to seek God personally, in, in, to humble ourselves before him, or to obtain understanding from the Lord, we fast. When we hear of the kind of, when, 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 we, when we hear of the things happening in the church, the state of the church today, the indiscipline in the church, the, the lack of commitment by the brethren, we see people and we see syncretism in the church and all kinds of things, we should fast. Number five, when we are weak in faith, we should fast so that we can summon that faith to exercise authority over Satan and his demon. Why should we be afraid of Satan and his demon? Number six, when we need divine help, we fast. Number seven, when we see sin blatant in the church and people are doing as they like, we need to go to God in prayer and fasting, seeking a revival by the Spirit. Number eight, when it is time to advance the work of God, either for the purpose of ordination or for the purpose of a new work, we need to fast and wait upon the Lord. Number nine, for personal discipline and self-denial, we need to wait upon the Lord to break certain addictions, to break excesses in our lives so that we do not become cast away. And number ten, from time to time, as we wait upon the Lord for his return, as we look at the promise of his coming, we fast before the Lord. And I'm going to close with a question. Just one question. When last did you fast personally? Without a pastor, without the church calling a fast. When last did you fast? Without someone saying to you, fast, let's bow our heads. I want to challenge us to start fasting. You don't have to wait for the pastor to declare a fast. Except you are saying you don't see the things around you. Except you are saying you are not aware of what is going on around you. Except you are saying that you are not reading the scriptures. And coming in contact with words that God is saying. And we are doing a thing that is contrary to what God has said. I'd like you to talk to God. 